Happy Friday, you lovely lot. It is Friday the 16th of April. Blimey, where is this year going? Anyway, look at that. Well nice outside. And we've had a steady, a well good week. Been super busy here at the B&B. Almost like a normal week. So feeling really, really positive. Lovely to see all of our favorite people getting out and about on the theme parks. Spickable Three were at Alton Towers, and I think they're at Skeggy, Skegness, somewhere up north. Um, I think they were there, what day is it today? Friday, I think they're there today, so I hope you're having a nice time. So go and check them out there. Oh, also saw people like Nathan Staker, he's really nice as well. He was at Legoland, and yeah, lots of people have been out and about, which is well nice. Don't expect any of that from us though, because I think we're gonna get even busier. Speaking of which, Tracy's in the main building doing rooms. I've swerved the work so far this morning. So we got up, did some takeaway breakfast, done a peloton, good job Kifo. I better go and catch up with the missus, otherwise I'm in trouble. 20 past two, sun's still kind of out there, but we've had a busy old morning. Finished all the, you know, work work bits in the main house bit busy actually. Now I'm trying to get the kitchen sorted, I'm not showing you that. That is well embarrassing. Tracy, doing Hello. some business. Doing business. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, alright? Yeah, good thanks, you. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. It's a week, hasn't it? That was like a proper week. Like a week where we normally had three more staff on. <laughs> yeah. But no, just me and you. Just you and me. Team Rhino. Yep. Grinding it out. Yeah. Finding time to squeeze in a birthday and a hospital appointment and everything else. Happy birthday for Wednesday! <laughs> it was Tracy's oh. birthday on Wednesday. You had some love on I the had socials. A lot of love on the socials. Thanks everybody. I've tried to thank and put stuff out there, but I've kind of. Been a bit it's hard, isn't it? We don't know how it all works. Yeah, and trying to remember what I've done and what I haven't done. And but hey, thanks everybody. So you had another day being treated like a princess. Of course, apart from all the work we had to do. <gasps> that was a well worky day, wasn't it? <laughs> Very worky. It was the busiest day of the week, work-wise, wasn't it? You did have a right result, though. I said my prayers. Tracy's got a bit of an eye condition, so yeah. she has to have a fairly... Nasty procedure. Pre well, it sounds worse than it is. I what? have to have an injection in my eye. Ah, the legs are gone funny. <laughs> Which I haven't had to have, touch wood, for eight months now. But I had it like, every month to two months or so for three years until things settle down but it seems to be stabilizing now so uh, stabilizing stabilizing doing my business but yeah when i went on wednesday i thought sod's law because the appointment was on my birthday of all the days where they're probably going to decide to do it it would have been that day but no it was good what was that birthday luck was with me and your prayers worked i did i had a word with a big fella upstairs and just like <laughs> just like maybe not today so yeah and you got another appointment and then you might get signed off. Yeah, they say, yeah, I don't have to go back for two months now, which is the, the longer gap because they've been seeing me monthly. Um, yeah, and they said if it carries on, hopefully another couple of appointments and they might sign me off and it just will settle as it is. Nice. nice. So we had a big old Chinese on Tracy's birthday on Wednesday, ate like a pig. And then when I finished that, I raided all the chocolate I could find and no surprise, I put weight on this week. Oh, so did I. Oh, how did you go? Two and a quarter. On? Yeah. Obviously, that's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> if you put weight on. Yeah, yeah. put weight on, lost two pounds. Doesn't matter like that, does it? <laughs> I wish it did. <laughs> I put two pounds on as well. Actually, I lied, I put three pounds on, but I was too embarrassed to say three pounds, but as you know. But we've, um, yeah, so I'm well peed off. I'm not surprised. We did enjoy ourselves, so we've kind of had that, we've, we've done that now. The birthdays are over, Easter's over, it's all over. There's no temptation ahead. Yeah. That's the idea, isn't it? And we've bought extra scales because Tracy's going to be weighing stuff out. You want If you want to see someone losing their mind and getting angry over nothing, you want to see Tracy trying to weigh stuff out. You are highly intelligent. <laughs> I know. And you are you get stuff done, but when it comes to weighing out lettuce, I don't know why I have to work. I, I, why am I weighing out lettuce? I can guesstimate it. But then if you do that, you start guesstimating chocolate. You start I guesstimating, hold on, chocolate. prawn crackers, wines, that wines sort of thing. I probably would guesstimate. I saw you last <laughs> night. Just bloop, bloop. Anyway, we are back on it. And I'm swerving takeaways for a while. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say to like the whole gang, we're not having takeaways anymore, but I'm not having takeaways for a while. Because as soon as I have a takeaway, I, I make a pig of myself. And literally, as I finish doing it, I'm like, 
Wish I hadn't done that, and then I feel rubbish for a couple of days. So I'm swerving them. And also, like when we have a Domino's, love Domino's, but not as nice as the cauliflower pizzas, the homemade ones. No, actually. They're nice, they're, they're nice, but yeah. Yeah, and also, when, if we have stuff like other than Domino's, McDonald's, that sort of thing. So if we have a Chinese, I can't work out how many calories are in it. And I'm definitely not going to be weighing all that out. Anyway, so this week has been proper busy. Tracy and I finished Stinky Pete. Yeah. It was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the end of the third season and it looks like they didn't make any more or it stopped after that for some reason. But I don't know why because it's... I was saying to you yesterday, wasn't I? It's, it's as good if not better than a lot of stuff that's run for more seasons. Mm. But, um yeah, really loved it. But the way it ended on the third season kind of good end. It did tie up some loose ends. They left it you you could understand they they could take it further if they wanted to, but it did you did have a bit of closure, so Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with the ending. They didn't do anything good. silly and I've gone out on a high. So I've gone out on a high. Yeah, it was good. So we were looking for something else to watch. Oh we watched that film, the Mandatorian. The Minutian. The Mauritanian. The Mauritanian. <laughs> I couldn't get Mandalorian out my head. <laughs> yeah, the Mauritanian. Yeah, that was we watched that in the week. That was really, really good. And had uh, Ben Lynn Thundercrack in it. Yeah. He was well good in that. Jodie Foster. Jodie Shirley Foster. Woody. So yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah, a bit, bit highbrow for us. It was like, you know. It was complicated in a way, but um, yeah. It wasn't a barrel of laughs, but it was very good. Yeah, it was very good. So yeah. It's pretty pretty decent. And then we were looking for something else to watch, like another series. So then we started watching, was it Big Sun? Big Skies? Big Sky. We got 10 minutes into that and we both looked at each other and went, this isn't for us. We could just tell, couldn't we? Yeah, it didn't seem... So we just started, what's it called? Stand Up. Lockout. Start Up. Start Up. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Pick a word. Pick a word. Um, <laughs> And that's looking pretty good. That's on Amazon Prime. The only thing that's a bit weird, it's got, is it, what's his name, Martin Freeman? Yeah. Mr. Poppy. But he's having like... He's not Mr. Poppy, he's Mr. Maddens. He's Mr. Maddens. But he's having like proper sexy times in it. He's like, proper sexy time. There's a lot of sexy time in it. Yeah. Like, even the first sort of 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we have to keep stopping with the kids. <laughs> I know they're not young kids, but you know, they're teenagers. They get embarrassed when that stuff's on the telly and their parents are in the same room. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think, sit <laughs> down, watching like a... A blue movie. <laughs> blue movie. I wonder why they were called blue, blue movies. <laughs> why are they called blue movies? I don't know. I don't know. I'd ask someone to tell us, but I don't think our, our thread of comments is going to go well with that topic. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, enough of that. But yeah, we've watched about half of that. Yeah, and we do want to do Line of Duty. Oh yeah. But we want to have enough in the bag to binge it rather than have to wait for episodes. So we're yeah. waiting for it to either finish or get further along. Yeah, and we finished maths. That was really good, but I don't need any more reality TV shows in my life for quite a while. No, towards the end, they were really milking it, weren't they, and dragging it out, I think. Yeah, and you know, some pretty awful people on that. So today, Tracy's doing some editing. I'm sorting the kitchen out. This weekend, I've got to finish off the painting in the restaurant, um, because what I thought I'd done, turns out the governor here reckons I've got to paint some shelves as well. So I'm gonna do that. Probably start that tomorrow. Um, today I need to pop to Waitrose. So I don't really know what's going on. Oh, we've got, um, i tell you what, we are kind of feel, feeling a bit weird about. We kind of, we got two Disney trips planned, right? And booked, and all not sort of half squared away. And we, we're just waiting for the email coming through and saying, no, it's not happening. However, we kind of think that they might happen. I don't know. I just don't know, because they, they aren't announcing any of the travel stuff yet. And I've, we're due to fly on the 30th of May for the first one. So we just don't know. It's one of those things, I, I think it's probably not going to happen. But there is a slight chance that I think it might, because I think they're looking at the US being one of the green countries, maybe. Or the UK is going to say it's a green country. I suppose you have to wait for the US to agree that we can actually go there. So that might be the sticking point. But we're right on the cusp of it. Yeah. Being a decision around that time, I think. So can you imagine? Like we've just like we were like 100 percent May one's not happening, and we got another one in July. And we're like 100 percent that's not happening, and now it's almost like there's a tiny glimmer. There's like a two or three percent chance. Yeah, I d yeah. Can you imagine it's if it still, happens? Yeah, but when we, when do we have to pay for the rest of it? Six weeks beforehand, don't we? So 
Yeah, soon. We should know by then, I think. Yeah, how exciting. You know, it probably won't happen, but can you imagine if it did happen? That'd be well good. And that's our short one. That's our week on Universal. Yeah. So that'd be, oh, that'd be well nice. Anyway, not showing you that. Got to sort all that washing up out. Just come back from Waitrose. <laughs> we haven't even unpacked. It's, a, it's like, um, it's like a serenity circle. We're sat here, pistachio little moons. I don't think anything, like anything sweet could taste better than that. Daisy's well blissed out. Mm, so good. Right, I'm gonna have another one unpacked and then she'll watch telly. Mm -hmm. Right, it is all going down. Some of you may have noticed my 90s curtains are back. What are we thinking with the curtains? I'm not hating it. Not hating it? No, it's right. Hmm. I got called distinguished last weekend. Not a fan. <laughs> How are we, gals? Good, thank you. Pizza going down. Cauliflower pizza. Is that yours, Daisy? It is. Hmm. It's not very exciting. Sorry. Yeah, I want more <laughs> excitement. That's the pizza sauce we're using. Big fan of this. Don't know how I pointed at that. No one's going to see it. Tracy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> You've been weighing it out, haven't you? I have. There we go, Tracy's Pizza, bit of a way station going on there. How was the weighing? It was alright, it was a bit of a faff, but it was alright. I need you on board with this, <laughs> look, you've got to just adjust the attitude. It's a lot of effort when you weigh something, it comes up like, you know, like seven calories. Yeah, but just think, you might get more calories for more wines. There is that. Yeah. And I have watched out, I can, I can have that last bit of wine and now work out what it is, rather than just do my Friday thing weight. It doesn't count. And that's because you <laughs> weighed it, wasn't it? <laughs> yes! We're weighing everything. Daisy, I'm weighing everything. Whee! And here's my pizza. So, on the bars, into a very hot oven. I put fresh garlic on mine. Did you? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Right, they're going in the oven. Daisy's already, already legged it with hers. There's mine, and we're watching This Is Us. If you've not watched This Is Us, us. <laughs> If you haven't watched This Is Us, it's brilliant. It's on Amazon Prime. We love it. So we've got two episodes banked, so we're going to be up to date after those. So we're going to have a nice chilled afternoon, early evening with Miguel's. It is, oh, with Miguel's. Also, there's a character in this called Miguel. Anyway, it's quarter to seven, sorry. So we're going to sit down, watch telly, have a nice chill. Tracy's just going to check on Daisy. She's been in the bath for ages. Oh, well, man. I'm a mess. You are a mess, aren't you? Ah. You've not stopped shoveling food in your head since you've been like walked through the doors. How are we? Good, ma'am. Welcome to the uh, the vlog. It's B a pleasure to be here. You'll see a lot of me. Well, you probably won't. You might you might see more of me this weekend. Who knows? Who knows? Um, you got a new job? I got a new job. Full time cheers ears feature. I'm going to be working at the hotel, or as they say in France, l'hôtel. Yes. So Luke is coming to help us out here because we're going to need some help soon. Oh, my hair. So yeah, how was work today though? All good? You had a nice chat. Everyone's happy that, not happy that you're going, but they all get it. Everyone's ecstatic that I'm leaving. <laughs> they said it's about time. He's, he's too much of a joker. He doesn't take the job seriously, which I think is a bit harsh because I've only assaulted three customers in my time there. And they deserved it. They deserved it. They were very rude. Um, what can you do? But um, no, it's all square. Gonna be here a lot more. So I'm really looking forward to because I can get into a nice routine because the shift patterns have been spinning me out a little bit. They have, haven't they? Six two and then like a one nine. It's like I'm all over the shop. You're all over the shop. And you had a nice surprise when you got in. You had a nice homemade pizza that Daddy made for you. Yeah, my dad made me a pizza. It was delicious. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. <laughs> Cauliflower base. Now you may be thinking that's keto friendly. It's not, but some <laughs> people might think it is because they're stupid. Now, when you've got a keto base, what are you gonna put on it? <laughs> a tomato sauce? No. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> when you put the barbecue sauce on there, it adds smokiness that you're not gonna get with that tomato sauce. On top of that, you add the cheese. Was it a mozzarella cheese? Yes. It was a mozzarella cheese. And yes, do you know, it was. Do you know why we both know that? Because the texture was fantastic. Mixed into the cheese though, not necessarily on top, not necessarily below, but in, encapsulated within the flavour and the texture were some chopped onions, some chopped chilies, and a little bit of chopped fresh garlic. Too close, mate. 
Two cloves. And that's how we do it here at Cheers is. With the two, the two cloves gang. <laughs> nice. easy, easy for me to say. And you just had a beer and a half. I quickly, did. But don't dirty. interrupt me, Keith, because <laughs> there was also pepperoni on that bad boy, okay? Pepperoni. And you're thinking, okay, well, <laughs> he's got one meat. He's not going to have one. He, you're wrong. Chicken. Put that on there. Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. So, you know, we're mixing Italian cuisine with Indian cuisine. But technically, no. That's chicken tikka masala is English. Sorry, I got confused. And then I had a really nice beer. That gave me a nice beer. And he put the glass in the freezer so it was chilled. Oh, I, I thought I did that, yeah. That yeah. was nice touch. And then you had a little moon. And I was just eating a little moon, but I ate it immediately out of the freezer and it's frozen up my gums. So. Oh. Anyway, I hope you were uh, all, you know, taking a breath after Luke's very energi energetic. <laughs> my, energetic. I, I've got a very ener energetic way of life. Anyway, Tracy and I are going to chill. Luke, what are you doing now? Are you going to go and play in your room? I'm probably going to like go on the sim, see if either of the mats are about. Nice. Eating biscuits now, are we? Yeah. You wait till that metabolism <laughs> slows down. <laughs> right, we'll see you lovely lot in the morning. Happy Saturday, you lovely lot. It is five past nine according to Big Clock and it is beautiful out there. <clears throat> so we've had a nice old lay in. Woke up sort of naturally about quarter past seven and then just had a stretch for a bit. And then watched Mr. David and Mr. Ian, which was super. And then we had some breakfast. Are you in there, Trace? Yeah. Are you vlog ready? I'm You kind of vlog ready? I'm not, I'm not, I've not done my hair or anything. How about, I'm what about if I say here? <laughs> I'm not minging, so I'm all right. <laughs> That's what I like. How are you feeling? Not minging? I'm scared of vlog ready and <clears throat> not vlog ready. I'm not minging. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That program's good. It's really good. Start up. Start up. It was very, very, very confusing. Very violent. Not violent, but sort of... It was quite violent. Yeah, it was quite violent. And just not sure what was going on. <clears throat> and then it's kind of kicked in now. Yeah. So we're on episode two. And it's also got um, Adam Brody in it from the OC. We were, Was it the OC? Yeah, the OC. Loved the OC back in the day. When I say back in the day, how long ago was the OC? Don't feel that long ago. Anyway, so I've got some washing on. I've got some the tumble dryer is whizzing around. Kids are still asleep, or they're waking up to me doing this. Morning, kids. <clears throat> and the plan for today, we've got some rooms to do, and Tracy's doing some editing, and I need to finish off the painting in the restaurant. Then we can start shifting all the stuff back into the restaurant. So we'll take you lovely lot along with us. Past. <laughs> no start. It's quarter past eleven. I've got a very, I've got a young, naked Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen. Right. Hold on, let me get your neck in. No cameras in the kitchen, please. Wow. Okay, big boy. Got some avocados on the go. A little bit of halloumi over there. Right, halloumi spider. There's an avocado on the floor. <laughs> get the house from here. Face, <laughs> so you'll have to bleep that. There's avocado everywhere. Look. Oh. Look. Jesus. Look. There's avocado on there. There's avocado. Okay. And also, look. My spatula. <laughs> You're good. Anyway, we'll come back to this oh, later. I burnt the right, it is. Da, 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 big clock says twenty to one. So done the rooms. All the house in the main. All the building in the main house is all the building. <laughs> all the work in the main house is done. Um, we got a couple of check-ins uh, for people moving house. So they're checking in, but it is obviously pretty quiet. So I think we've got three or four rooms out. We've got someone still served. Surveying monuments on Salisbury Plain. Who would have thought it? Anyway, um, Daisy's upstairs, still doing some college work. We've had lunch, which was very, well I've had lunch, which was nice. And Tracy, doing the editing? Yeah. All good? Uh, yeah, it's um, exporting at the moment. Yeah, so. we are getting lots of people phoning up, trying to book rooms. But yeah, no problem, what's the reason for your stay? Oh, holiday. No, you can't stay until 17th of May, so unless it's self catering, unless it's self self catering, which is if we didn't have communal areas like a reception area, we could open for like not not interesting. Anyway, so I'm popping to where am I going to Tesco's? Do a bit of shopping um, tonight. We are having cauliflower pizza bases again. Um, Luke's off to his friends to sit in the garden and have a catch up. So he's probably going to come back smelling of wood burner. Um, 
so yeah, so don't have to cater him, for him tonight. So normally I uh, take away on a Friday, I'm not doing that because it was yesterday. Not doing it tonight, otherwise Luke will have some sort of meltdown. So tomorrow, we normally have a roast or a bit of a cook up, but tomorrow we're gonna have fish and chips. I know I said I'm not having takeaways, but I'm gonna backtrack on that because I'm gonna have some fish and chips because I can calorie that out. I think I will avoid takeaways where it's just like curries and stuff that I can't weigh out. So if I have a Domino's, I know that the pizza I have is X amount. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, because it's with a curry, it's hard, isn't it? Because each different place you might have a curry from would be slightly different recipes and things, so it's very difficult to know what's in it. Yeah. It's very difficult to quantify the calories unless you just decide a complete cheat night, which sometimes we might do. And then no, that's what I have been doing. I had two cheat days. Yeah, but you, we kind of had lots all together, whereas if you only have one like once a month, it's not going to upset the apple cart too much, is it? And that's what we want. We do not want to upset that ass. <laughs> apple cart? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to test, guys. I really need a holiday. I know, like, it's all been in lockdown and we have, we have been mental for the last that year. Really hard. We have, haven't we? Oh, it's well, nice to be on furlough. It sounds nice to be on furlough, but I'm sure there are. Uh, well, uh, frustrations in that and frustrations in working from home, but. I was speaking to uh, one of my best mates, Party Phil, and he was saying that he's got, he owns like a big firm, and he's got like sales staff, and the ones that are on furlough were really struggling. Yeah. Because, so, although sometimes it's like, oh, it must be nice to be on furlough, probably isn't if you're that sort of person that needs that. That routine. That routine. That, that, yeah, that satisfaction out your day, just to. Yeah. Uh, have I don't need any satisfaction out of my day, so. <laughs> Tracy, if you could furlough me on, furlough me and stick me on my fat bum. Anyway, enough waffling on, I'm off to Tesco. So it is dinner time, or getting ready for dinner, so prepping everything up, all okay. looking good, getting it all ready. Uh, only got two cauliflower pizza bases, unfortunately, so I got this stuff for, for Daisy. It's like frozen pizza dough. I thought originally it was sourdough pizza dough, but turns out it's not. Anyway, Daisy's happy and it's gonna be interesting to see what that's like. I've just caught a glimpse of my, oh, my bloody hair. Anyway. That's the one that we've got Daisy. So she's gonna be trying that, rolling it all out. So we're getting all the bits and pieces out of the fridge, getting it all chopped up, ready to get, building some pizzas again. Right, so as it was the other day, everything's weighed out, Tracy's little weigh station. How are you getting on with weighing stuff out? Better. Getting better. Daisy, different dough. Talk me through it. I have to roll it out this time. Looks good. Thanks. Yeah, looks very good. I'm excited. And yours cooks hotter. Mm. Yeah. And there's mine. I've gone super heavy on the chilies as well. So you've seen the cauliflower ones before, but this is Daisy's one. That smells and cut. Like, I reckon that's going to be the business. Beautiful. Beautiful. It Beautiful. smells lovely. Right, we are gonna go and have dinner on our laps because no one here is gonna judge us about eating on our laps, because Luke hates that. And we're gonna watch the Goldbergs. Right, that is dinner sent down the range. I've got no idea what is going on with this barnet. However, I am seeing my barber on Wednesday. But if you like pizza, you should, you should really, really try those cauliflower bases because how good are those cauliflower bases? They're really nice, they're really tasty. And Daisy had one that wasn't cauliflower tonight and she enjoyed it, but she said she thinks she prefers the cauliflower ones because they have more flavour. So they, yeah. they are awesome. And also, you know, if you lay it all out and you've got youngsters or whatever, it's fun for kids to build it. And I think Luke still gets a kick out of that as well. <laughs> um, but they are absolutely delicious. Um, so it, it's just gone 10 past seven. Luke is at his mate, set in the garden around a wood burner somewhere, stinking of bonfires. So he's not, he's out for most of the evening. Daisy's having a bath, and we've just been informed that she is, you know, doing stuff in her room and chatting with her mates and bits and pieces. So, Tracy and I are gonna settle in and watch The Irishman. I've watched an hour of it, and I think Tracy sort of dipped in and out while I was watching it. I think you quite like the look of it, didn't you? Yes, it looks interesting, so I'm, ha I'm happy to give it a go. So we're gonna watch that now, we're gonna sort some cherries out. We've just watched um, The Goldbergs with Daisy. She is in, in on that. We watched the first episode, so I've not seen the first episode, so yeah, it was really good. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. If you like the Wonder Years, it's really, really like the Wonder Years. I love it. I'm... But it's a mashup, like the Wonder Years, the Middle, Modern Family. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's kind of a mix of all of it, really. 
And now we've finished maths, Tracy, Daisy and I can watch that together. So that is, that's ticked a box. I think so far there's like seven or so seasons and there's like 20 odd in there. That's gonna keep us going for ages. Anyway, cherry time, big film. Right, it is bedtime. Well, not bedtime actually, it's five to 10, which, you know, is bedtime. Uh, but I think, Traso, yeah. I'm gonna watch, an, I think we should watch another episode of that startup. The cats are in agreement. Tipsy, she's up for it. Kylo, <laughs> not so bothered. We've just watched Love vs. Monsters. Is it Love vs. or is it just Love and Monsters? Love and Monsters. No. Yeah. Because we got 40 minutes into The no. Irishman and Tracy. I wasn't enjoying it. It's stressing you out, wasn't it? Yeah, I was trying to trying to enjoy it and the more I was thinking, because you, you said it was so good, I was like, I don't, I don't get it, I don't. And I, and I was like, no, I, I can't do it. Not can't agree on everything. Thing. Can't agree on every, every, no, everything. No, mostly we do. Mostly we do do, yes. I anyway. Think, I felt about like that, how you felt about Bridgerton. Ugh. Yeah, just wasn't my thing. <laughs> anyway, we're going to watch another episode of that, uh, of Startup. Then off to bed. Got a couple of packed breakfasts to do in the morning at 8 o'clock. So a bit of a lie-in for us, so probably about half seven getting up and then cracking on with tomorrow. So we'll see you lovely lot in the morning. Happy Sunday, you lovely lot. It has just gone nine o'clock. A little bit of a lie-in this morning and only a couple of packed breakfasts to get out. It is looking like another lovely day out there today. Um, so Luke's still asleep. Daisy's just mooching about having some pineapple. As I walk past, Daisy went, nice hair. Um, so yeah, sorry about the barnet, not had a shower yet, because I'm going to go and get... Oh, morning Kylo. Say hello. So this morning, I am going to go and get some more paint on the woodwork down in the um, surgery, and then hopefully going to do a cheeky peloton, and then hopefully get some rooms done, and then Grand Prix's on today. Fish and chips today, so well excited. Also, just as exciting, so don't have to cook or make a mess. So yeah, we better crack on with the day. Right, it is five to 12, productive morning. Actually, got a second coat on the woodwork downstairs. That's gonna need three coats. Yeah, a bit like it was gonna need a bit more than, um, don't mind, it'll be worth it. It will, done with Peloton. Good job, Kifo, welcome to the vlog. Hello. You're very glamorous. Thank you. Nice. Going out or not? Well, not You're going out. I'm going out to garden centre. Yeah, going out, out in like COVID, to, like yeah, if you're using that as a perspective. Out, yeah, on a scale of not going out at all during lockdown and going out, I'm going out. Nice, it's sun shiny out there, still nice. Formula One starts at two o'clock, so we've got two hours until that starts. Fish and chip tea for, t uh, for dinner tonight, which I'm well excited about. I've got to go and clean some rooms. Which is, you know, um, Luke and Daisy are like chimps in the jungle, picking fleas off of one another. Morning, children. Hello. Uh, how are we all? Very good. Nice. Are you going to take turns on that? Play nicely. Yeah, you know, it's a team game. It is a team game. Right, so Tracy's going to pop to the garden centre and I'm going to go and clean some rooms. So the girls are back from the shopping centre. The cats are very interested. How's garden centre? Do I show you shop? Hello. Did I say shopping centre? No, okay. Did I? Listen, Daisy, I'm about to compliment you because that sandwich looks Thank incredible. I know, I know. That's like a fancy sandwich. Done, what are you going to put? Salt. salt. <laughs> we put salt on our pizzas last night. Couldn't believe it. I tell you what, salt is going to catch on. It's well nice. I that... think I think we're ahead of the curve on this one. Me too. Everyone in the comments, please let us know if you've ever, ever had salt before. And if you've ever put it on a savoury dish. It's unbelievable. It's a game changer. Apparently it's nice if you put it in chocolate milkshake as well. <laughs> but I like chocolate milkshakes. Everyone likes chocolate milkshakes. Well, I, I never want a chocolate no. milkshake. No, it's like chocolate ice cream. That is no one's favourite flavour of ice cream. Oh, I don't know. Chocolate ice cream is pretty good. You know what everyone's least favourite flavour ice cream is? Raspberry Ripple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm quite partial to a raspberry ripple. Get out. Mum is quite partial to it. <laughs> So we stocked up on curry sauces. Yes. It's quarter past one. It's lunchtime, and Formula One is on in soon. Oh, this is on in pre race footage on at the moment. So right, we're getting on it. We've got the Arsenal game as well. Oh, that's to kick off at twelve thirty though. Twelve thirty. No. Okay. There is some serious concentration going on there. 
That's pretty good. Scampi for Tracy. Kids cotton chips for Kifo. And I've got a little one. Daisy's got a big one. And Luke has got jumbo sausage and chips and mushy peas and curry sauce. So we're going to sit down, get in the trough. A nice afternoon. Grand Prix was well exciting. Really, really loving the Grand Prix. Grand Prix this year. Um, football was average. Need to get this season over and done with. Start again next season. And the Despicable Three have uploaded their trip to Skegness. Yay! Yay, so we're going to watch that this afternoon. Well excited. Oh, and this morning we watched the Baker family. We mentioned them a little while ago. We're loving them, and they've got like plenty of Disney stuff as well, so we're watching their... Oh, down in the dark, we are watching their... 2019... Is it their 2019 trip? 2019 August. I'm loving it! All the feels. So if you're looking for a new channel, you know, to watch, that should be a consideration, because we are loving it. Also, it kind of reminds us of us. When the kids were little. Yeah, when the kids were nice and cute. <laughs> And like, you know, a couple of teeth missing and, you know, wanted to be around us and thought I was cool. Now look at ya. I still think you're cool. Do ya? Yeah. Oh, thanks darling. Hey, only got a shirt on. Hi guys, it's me, shirt wearing Luke. This is going to be the la one of the last times we see you with this sort of hair. This is the last time. Is it tomorrow, haircut time? Tomorrow is haircut time. And you're refusing to be on any more vloggage today. Am I? Well, you said this is the last time. There might be oh, one. Oh, I see. I, I think you meant like this as a vlog, it's the last time. No. I meant like... Do you feel this? I created that, I didn't created I? created that. There's a lot of awkwardness in there. Right. That looks nice. Uh, there's yours dinner's through there. Yours dinner's. Right, it is bedtime. Five past ten. Nice chilled evening. Where's my light? That light will do. Nice chilled evening. Tracy and I have been... Binging the pants off of that um, startup, that is well good, but well stressful. It's weird seeing Mr. Madden being all sort of, you know, edgy and yeah, it's well good. Very, very good. Highly recommended. So we are getting ready for next week. Busy week this week. Um, two haircuts, mine, Luke's, and daiso has got a driving lesson. Her first one. How exciting is that? I think she's a bit nervous, but she's got a really busy week at college. Uh, we're pretty busy here at the BNB, so yeah, can't believe how quick this weekend went. It just flew by. But thanks so much again for joining us. Have a lovely week. Stay safe. Be kind. Cheers, is. <laughs> <laughs>